Okay, welcome, welcome to our fun little transit series we got going on. How are you, Janelle? I'm doing good. Welcome to Chatting Human Design and the channel of curiosity together again. Yes. This is super fun. I'm so glad we were doing this. I was just telling Rebecca before, like, I didn't know how I was going to get this whole transit thing out into the world and it was frustrating me. And this is how it was supposed to happen. And I just needed to be patient. And that's kind of a trademark with mental projectors, I think, is we want to run with the ball. We want to go so fast, but mm -hmm. we, we want, we don't know where to go. And we're like, come on universe, tell me where to go. And he's yeah. like, Hey, be patient. We're getting there. <laughs> so this is how transit talk came about is we wanted to share something with y'all and we didn't know how to do it. And now we do. Yay. Third line life. <laughs> Yay. Yes. Action creates clarity. You just got to do it. And Get the feedback as you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a backwards lifestyle for us, which I'm learning how that works. It just almost feels like walking backwards because you can't really see what you're doing. <laughs> well, and then, so, and then being a mental projector, we're essentially blind. So mm -hmm. it's just a lot of trusting. Re reaching around in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. All right. So welcome. If you're listening to this, uh, this transit is the week of June 25th through the 30th. And if you don't know what a transit is, it's basically the universal universal energy that we're all dealing with at this time. The planets are sprinkling down this particular energy on us and we're just navigating it. And we just wanna share it with you and tell you how we are planning on not planning how to deal with it. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start with the personality sun gate, and this is just a very strong energy in your chart. It's where the sun is at this time and it's gate 52. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a root gate. So is our personality earth this week and 52 is the gate of stillness. It's about kind of being still through the chaos and really um, observing. This is a really good energy, I think, for you and I, because it's about stepping back and observing rather than being in the thing, which mm -hmm. we both really just want to be in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, I, I am learning anyway that sometimes it's better for me to step out and observe my life rather than try to control it and be in the middle and tell everything what to do, because the universe isn't really going to listen to me anyway, so that's fine. Right. That's when you end up sick in bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, when should you take action versus when should it, there, this be reflection time or observation time? And that's what mm -hmm. this energy is going to pressure us to do because it's a root center energy. So it's pressure. It's like, okay, are you going to jump in? Are you going to be out? Make a choice, pick, pick a thing <laughs> is what the root center <laughs> is going to say. And so for me, I'm just going to kind of see how that goes and recognize when because I feel this sometimes I'll feel like the earth, everybody's moving around faster than me. And I'm just kind of in a slow motion state of like, Hmm, what's happening, what's happening. And I can see, I feel like I can see better and I have more clarity. So I'm really going to kind of experiment with this energy in an, an attachment to my life sort of way. Like, how can I be detached yeah. in this moment and, and, and watch rather than try to be the puppet master, you know? <laughs> yes. Do you have this one in your chart? I don't. I don't have either of these. I only have um, 58, I think, is my only. Okay. Yeah, 58 is my only root channel or gate. So I'm not super familiar. Do you have one of these? I these? do. I have it in two placements on the design side, on the oh, unconscious side. Awesome. So I'm curious to observe it. And I just got to, like, it almost sorry, it just amuses me to observe how this is coming just a day after the Supreme Court ruling. <laughs> and just yep. as an observation, I'm like, okay, so maybe this is good. Like, let's take a beat to observe <laughs> and to figure mm -hmm. out where, like what we can actually do instead of everybody like freaking out on each other. Yeah, because unfortunately, like you said, there's only certain so many things that we can do, but there are things actions that we can take. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, like you said, instead of instead of I mean, I know it's it's very emotional for a lot of people. And so have your emotional time, but then realize that if there's steps that you want to take and actions that you want to do, you can. 
and I'm sure yeah. they're all over the place of what you can do, but you can also, like you said, observe this time and be like, okay, how am I going to take care of myself in this time? You know, how am I going to mm-hmm. prepare myself for things if I have to? Good point. <laughs> well, and I know this isn't like, we're not trying to get political by any means. I just thought it no, was, but we're both women. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty, I know where you stand, you know where I stand. It's, it fucking sucks. But yeah. sometimes I feel like some things are so much bigger than us, which is, is a hard pill to yeah. swallow. But I also know that there's actions that we can take. And sometimes I just want to move it out of this gosh darn country. Same. <laughs> okay. I think we just need to have another podcast episode where we just riff on this because yes um human design and politics let's get fiery <laughs> Woo! that's what we're gonna do okay, yeah i have a, well, a provocation in my chart so i'm supposed okay. to okay i just get it freaks me out i don't like you know me i like to stay under the radar and like if you mm-hmm. provoke then you're out there which is where we're supposed to be so yeah i'll yeah. do it whatever let's do it, <laughs> it, would, it would be oh my gosh that is awesome um, but with this one also being a collective energy you know it's it, it's just it just always intrigues me to watch the transits and to watch what's happening in the world and to see it mm-hmm. and that's a great way to use this information mm-hmm. is to and that is to kind of observe and see what happens rather you can obviously use it to take action or to leverage certain things in in your life if you want to experiment that way but you can also, like you said, just observe it and see how, how other people are, are feeling it, what, what's happening to them. Cause I mean, most people aren't paying attention to this the way that we are. So they don't really know why they're feeling the way that they do or why stuff is like <clears throat> messing with them energetically. Um, and this could be why, so have compassion with yourself. If you jump into the chaos when you should maybe just observe it for a little while. You can always jump out. I mean, Mm -hmm. we're all going to stick our feet. I mean, that's what we do as third lines is we stick our feet in the mess before we know what's happening because we have to feel it out. Yes. (laughs) And so I think this energy is really cool because it's like, it reminds us that we can step out. Like we're not like, you're not, if you're in the chaos, you can step out. There's ways to get yourself out and to detach, Mm -hmm. which can sometimes feel like, oh, but that means I'm giving in that. That means that the energy is winning. No, sometimes you have to step out. Sometimes you have to leave the room. Sometimes you, you kind of just have to energetically step away Mm -hmm. to protect yourself. And so that you can see things more clearly, because when you're in the middle of certain things, it's too hard to see no matter how hard you try, how how hard you want to, and that your heart is in it. It's just too hard to see. So you have to step away. And then you can always jump back in the mess if when you're when you feel inclined, <laughs> <laughs> when you feel calmer and more still mm-hmm. like the wise mountain image that they put. on. Yes, the- exactly. The teaching <laughs> image. That's so totally right. I was totally thinking of that. So yeah, that's going to be our personality sun gate 52. 58 is also in the root. And, um, oh, this is the one I have. <laughs> this is the one I was talking yeah. about having. Yay. I love <laughs> this gate. Whenever I, when I learned about this gate, it made me very happy. Because personality, personality Earth Gate 58 is the gate of joyous vitality. So beautiful. Right? And it's just, and I do very much feel this energy in my life. And when I started my human design mentorship a couple of years ago, my little group that I was in, when they learned that I had this gate, they're like, oh yeah, this is how you talk. Like you talk, you get very excited and you're like, oh, and you're like <laughs> it's your joyous vitality like comes out of your body. And I was like, yes. <laughs> excellent score so yeah this is the gate of the joy for life this is about wanting to try it all <laughs> and and this is the pressure to kind of get the most out of life that you can get and really try everything and I say pressure which sounds negative but to me this is a really positive energy of like really just wanting to try everything and see everything. And when I go, this, when I feel this is when I like go for a walk and I'm like, Oh, look at this tree. Oh, look at this cool bird. (laughs) Yesterday, my husband and I were driving through a really small, tiny town in Colorado. And this like mountain town is so beautiful. The Mm. town was like dilapidated and like, I mean, there are people still living there, but it was very run down. And I was like crying and he's like, are you, what, 
are you okay? I'm like, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> and he was like, what is up with you? I was like, I don't know, man, this is just really freaking pretty. <laughs> and so to me, You're that's how, <laughs> yeah, I get like, there's certain times when, well, I mean, it's a lot, but I'll be out in nature. I will be somewhere. And I'm just like, this is so gosh darn pretty. Like I can't take it. And then I just start crying. I think that has to do a lot with this skate 58. So that makes hopefully, sense. do you know what placement it is for you? Like, um, I can look because I have everything in front of me. It's my, um, moon. Oh, so yeah, that makes even more sense. Cause it's all yeah. about how you express. Yeah. 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 The driving force. Yeah. 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 It does make sense. And sometimes I used to try to tamp this down, like try to like chill it out because I sometimes felt silly, like getting so excited about dumb things. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, I get, I get even more excited because I I'm like, look guys, look at this stuff. Like, and I tell my husband, I'm like, you're so lucky that you have such an easily amused wife. <laughs> like you don't really have to do anything or give me anything. You just have to get lost with me in like a mountain town. So I can see Maybe. how pretty it is. It's so easy to think. <laughs> yeah. Take me on a walk and show me a tree and a bird. And I'm like, Oh gosh, this is amazing. So yeah, I feel like this energy is very easy to please with <laughs> things that are, that make us love, hit us right in the feels. And for me, it's, it's nature and beauty and like fun little dates that I didn't know we were going to go on. Like one time we saw these bees, there was like this beehive thing in the middle of this park like just all these they were taking care of. and I was like oh my god look at these bees and I had to like go and stand and listen I had like a little my girl moment I'm like oh my god I don't want to die but also at the same time I was like this is so neat because like this is life like this is what's yeah. going on here and so who I get so excited with the 58 and I feel like it helps you trust a little bit more in the universe and what life has to give to you because it just, this especially will happen to me when I'm having a crappy day or when I'm not really feeling grateful for my life, something will show mm -hmm. up or I will go for a walk or I'll do something. And I'm like, <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so pretty or this is so meaningful. And then it jerks me out of that. And I'm like, oh, okay. This is why like I have this energy is because it easily helps me come out of my funk and go, Oh, I'm really grateful for all this stuff. It gives me a lot of gratitude. I do gratitude practice a lot, but mm -hmm. this energy does give me a lot of gratitude in the moment. I a lot of times. So yay. I love this energy. How do you feel about it? I love it too. I do not have this placement in my chart, but I really enjoy observing it in others, especially, um, yeah, there's a couple, there's a couple people on Instagram who have it as their conscious son. And so mm -hmm. and really see it come to fruition. Mm -hmm. And it's one I wish I did have, but I love, I love the connection here too. Cause when we think about how the earth energy kind of grounds you so that the sun can shine and how just being in joy essentially and vitality and enjoying the moment, like you said, it helps you to be still. Mm -hmm. at Sungate and then it helps you to get into your correct alignment yes I, you're totally right I I agree and if and if you're experimenting with this energy do stuff that brings you joy no matter if you think it's silly or if like like I said if you see a, a leaf and you want to take a picture and post it and you're like oh no that's dumb no just do it or send it to somebody or just keep it for yourself like whatever, whatever brings you unbridled joy this week, just kind of lead into that a little bit. Um, that's what I'm going to do anyway. And if you're a non-sacral, this is pressure energy that might be a little bit more sometimes. Cause I feel like the root energy, especially if you're a non-sacral can be really like, Hey, I feel like a lot. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like banging on your door. Um, it's not, it's, <sighs> sacral uh, people with uh, defined sacrals deal with it as well but I think because you have that sacral motor it almost like dampens down the intensity of the root being like hey listen to me <laughs> do what I say <laughs> so this energy both of these gates can feel like pressure and then and even though we talked about 58 joyous vitality wonderful hearts of flowers type of energy it can still feel like pressure to do everything 
to try everything in life and to like get all the experiences. Like to me, this reminds me of like a FOMO energy a little bit because mm-hmm. it's the pressure to, to go from the root. And this energy wants you to go and experience life. And there's a gajillion experiences to have. So it wants you to try them all. <laughs> yes. So have fun trying experiences, but don't burn yourself out thinking like they'll never come around again. Cause most of the time, most experiences yeah. will, I mean, not there are once in a lifetime experiences, but most of them aren't, I don't think, I think you'll get that at chance yeah. again. So yeah. yeah. And a lot of things, when you look at them, you don't really want that thing. You don't really want to experience that thing. You just see somebody else doing it and you're like, Oh, that looks fun. Anytime I see that I go, okay, but what if you were really there? Like when I see people doing things mm-hmm. in like crazy on like a mountaintop or whatever, what if you were there? If I was there, I would be clinging to the mountain because I'm really afraid of heights. So I'd be like, oh my God, this is horrible. And I wouldn't be having the same experiences then. I wouldn't be like, oh, selfie, look at me. Right. I'd be freaking out. So when I, when I put myself there, I'm like, oh, okay. Like you wouldn't be having this experience on the top of this mountain that this person is having. So go have an experience where you would feel that way, where you would be like, yeah, this is awesome. And for me, that's on the ground. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not good with heights at all. My husband took me to a four on a, to a 14 or when I first moved here and it was, it, it was breathtaking. Yeah. But I was shaking and crying and like sitting on the rock and people were like, is she okay? Is she okay? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, my husband's a photographer. So I was like, yeah, just let him get shots. I'm fine. Let him get, let him get shots. I need him to get shots because this is too beautiful. Yeah. Leave me alone to cry on the side of the mountain. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> it's just coming out. <laughs> yeah. He took, he set up the camera so he could take pictures of the two of us. I said, I have to have my glasses on because I'm like, Whoa! and he was like, okay. <laughs> and you can still tell, like, you can see me like gripping him. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, it was, I mean, it was a neat experience, but I don't need to do that again. I'm good. So Experience, right. Yeah. Experience the things that, you know, are for you and that, you know, you'll be excited to do, but if something looks fun, try to put yourself in that spot and go, would I really be having fun? Would I-, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I always figured if there was a ting of jealousy, when you see somebody, then that just is a signpost for you. Like, well, that's something you could have. And like you said, well, you see somebody up at the top having fun. It's not about the mountain top. Like it's not the act it was just them having fun that you're like oh okay oh yeah well we'll make you feel that way yeah and like list those or or figure out the things and that make you exuberant and excited because it's not the same as what everybody else is doing and that's totally great um Mm -hmm. yeah experience your life the way you want to experience it and have compassion for yourself throughout the transits that's how I always feel about these things because they can really affect um all of us, but certain types, I feel like more than others. (laughs) Yes. Yes. If you have a lot of openness and especially with these two root gates, if you have an undefined root, like we do, it can feel, it can feel like a lot. Um, And I just, when you were talking about all that, I remembered the shadow of gate 52 is stress and the shadow of gate 58 is dissatisfaction, which I feel like both could potentially show up a lot this week. Mm -hmm. And so that's just to understand that that's the shadow aspect. And if you're in that, then again, it's time to step back for a second. And how can you move to the stillness? How can you move to the joy? Because you're not going to be able to make any good progress inside of stress or dissatisfaction. That's so great. I love that. Anything else you want to say about these two guys before... I don't think this is a fun, um, these two are fun. I like this. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, This combo is, is good. And I think it will, like you said, it's a lot for people to experiment with and a lot for people to notice, which I think is always fun in human design when you can have proof for things. I don't have the gate of proof, which is up here, but (laughs) I am always looking for proof that things are make sense logically. I think it's mm-hmm. because, you know, Ajna whole deal. Um, I want proof that it works or that it, it makes logical sense. And when you have yeah. stuff like this to experiment with, you're like, you could be like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And just like you said, we're kind of in a interesting time right now where there's a lot going on and mm-hmm. a lot of stress 
and a lot of dissatisfaction. So, yeah. Um, but also I just remembered on the 28th is the new moon in cancer and the new moon always signifies a great time of newness of creation, cool. of shift and change. So yay. 28th. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll All be right. Good. Excellent. So thanks for listening guys. This is yeah. just a little transit taste and uh, we'll be back again. We will. Yes. And if you have any other questions about the transits or anything, message us on Instagram, whatever, because then we'd love to be able to chat about that. So we can give you all what you want. Right. Exactly. All right. See all right. You later. Bye.